Thank you very much, Steve, for that uh, kind introduction. Um, everybody has an affection for their local hospital, so it is really wonderful to be here at, at my local hospital, uh, the West Suffolk. And I'm so proud of what you do and how in these challenging times you've become one of the best hospitals in the country. So congratulations. That's rated the NHS as the best and safest health system in the world for a second time running last year. And thousands more people are alive today because of improved cancer survival rates. But as you know from first-hand experience, the pressures have ramped up year on year. As a society, more people are living longer with more complex conditions. And this is, of course, in part down to the success of the NHS. And we must always remember that people living longer is one of its purposes. I want to drive this culture change, and I know that you do too. And let's talk about managers. Managers are crucial staff who attract less attention, but who are a vital component of well-run health and care organisations, large or small. It matters to clinical staff that their managers are good, because everybody has their part to play. Too often, getting the right people into these roles has been a struggle, and I know that some people in management can feel overlooked or undervalued. So we need to back our managers to manage in a modern and dynamic way. Us. What would you like to see us implement to support your early priorities? Well, you, there are two areas of the three. In fact, in all three of these areas, the West Suffolk is uh, a, a leader. Um, and um, some people have said, why are you giving this speech only 10 days into your time as Health and Social Care Secretary? Why don't you um, listen to us? And, I've been doing quite a lot of listening over the last 10 days and taken advice from amazing people. But also, Steve and I have a, a, a go a long way back and I've been watching what's happened locally. Uh, and you are formerly a, a, a digital exemplar uh, and I've seen some of the things that you've done here and I want to see those spread across the country because it's this variance in take-up and this slow take-up of some of the best technology that I find frustrating. Uh, but the other thing here is that I get the impression, and I get this from talking to people, uh, not just from listening to the you got any special message to the staff here who clearly do an outstanding job? And also, what plans are there to help recruit more nurses um, as it's both a local issue here and a national issue? Yes. Um, there's a, uh, uh, my message to the staff here is I, I care about what you do. I value the work that you do. I'm, I, on behalf of all my constituents in West Suffolk, I'm grateful for how you attend our needs at some of our most difficult moments. And um, my message to, um, uh, and to answer the second part of the question, um, we, we have seen an increase in nurses, but we need clearly need to see uh, a bigger increase. Um, and uh, what, uh, making sure that we have the workforce that is needed to guarantee the NHS's future is a uh, critical part of my top priority.